Bob Blenny, Sean Druin, and myself, as well as George Sotolongo. And uh, we were kind of pulling on board the uh, design portion of this project. And uh, it was also involved, you know, the ICS department uh, did a great job with video cameras and things like that. Um, but we were something called in the design aspect of it. And uh, I, I don't know, when they, when they came to me and they said armored surveillance vehicle, ASV, I was kind of like, uh, yeah, what's that? And at the end of the meeting, I kind of still was like, what's that? So uh, we had to do a little research, learn with the process. Uh, it was the first time we'd ever done a project like this. And uh, so we put a little get together a little two minute video to show you guys the process behind it and how the kids were involved. And that's what I'm going to attempt to play. July 2nd, 2012, Tasco met George Sotolongo of the St. Petersburg Police Department and was introduced to the Armored Surveillance Vehicle, or the ASV. It was a retired Brinks truck about to begin a new chapter of its life and not a junkyard. Tasco was chosen to design the artwork by the <coughs> This vehicle was going to be transformed into a convert surveillance unit to be placed into high crime areas for all to see, equipped with loud graphics and 360 high definition night vision cameras. July 5th, 2012. Tasco and the Breakfast Optics Club presented the Treasure Island Beach of Ash for Teens. Over 1,500 teens, 400 flyers distributed, 150 ideas. The two finalists were Shia Mitchell and Roy Anderson and Charles Barton. Taking their design, the yellow and green theme, eyes looking out from the inside, and the passion. We are watching. A powerful industrial beat was designed. Vehicle. If the ASV is in your neighborhood, you can be assured we are watching. 